David wanted to see some knife defense. The particular feature about Mikhail's training method is to teach by showing the whole picture. He breaks movements down into components only when he works with someone individually. This way he can point out what that particular person needs and answer his specific questions. We also had some Russian doctors and healers treat and revive any of us that wanted to try it. We are now in Denver, Colorado at an amazing seminar.
It begins with the words of welcome from the host and organizer, Mr. John Gitter. People from 12 different states and five different countries have come here, beginners and skilled practitioners, martial arts instructors, police officers, and other action professionals. This is the inaugural event in the World Federation of Russian Martial Arts. All three of the founding directors of the Federation, three great Russian masters, are here to share their knowledge and friendship. Mikhail Eripko, arriving from Moscow, Russia. Vladimir Vasilyev, arriving from Toronto, Canada. And Oleg Taktarov, from Los Angeles, California. So first of all, the way the system works, it's um, all the reflexes uh, of people are involved. Okay, and uh, Michael will demonstrate that. Um, so all your natural reactions uh, are being used. Uh -huh. Okay, there is... Uh, okay. There is one reflex we have from childhood is the gripping reflex, the grabbing. Uh, uh -huh. So we're going to use that when a person is coming at you. Uh, okay. Your goal, uh, if he's trying to grab you, let him have your arm. And right away he is in a very uncomfortable position. And then you can work with him. Go, go on. Uh -huh. So you're using his uh, grabbing reflex and to your advantage. There is nothing complicated or magic about this. And it, it, in the beginning it looks uh, unclear. And try it uh, with a partner. Mm -hmm. So here's the grabbing reflex. Okay. Here's the next reflex uh, tensing up as well. So your opponent uh, gets, uh -huh. he resists and he tenses up and you're using that too. You've got to use it in the right way. Try that, but don't rush. Huh? Yeah, demonstrate again. He's tense. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try. Okay, try. Look for weak parts of the body. He was just explaining earlier. Um, yeah, don't try to overpower, right? And um, like if the top part of the body is tense, that means the bottom is vulnerable. So go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try to use less power. Don't try to overpower the opponent, right? Um, it's more movement. Use the movement. So as little force as possible, yeah. 
The principle is correct, but using way too much force. Okay. You, you get tired out a lot. You both get tired because you're using so much force, right? Okay, grab. Don't be tense. Just calmly bring your arm over. Help with this one. Okay. Go ahead. Show us the same thing. Uh, uh, same thing. Uh, 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 grab. Grab. <laughs> Okay, the next uh, principle we're going to use, the, the instinctive reaction is uh, fear, um, startle reflex. Startle reflex, yeah. Объясни, что а что ты сделал так с ним? Ну как? Видели же все. Пускай пробует, а мы пока. You saw everything, so just go ahead and try it. And then Michael will come around. Uh, it felt like somebody kept shutting on and off the lights, and there was Michael every time it came on. And I didn't have any control. And the last thing was really impressive because every time I kind of blinked, his face was right in mine, and all I could do was move backwards till I fell on my back. So uh, it was very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. When, when a person is loading up, to uh -huh. throw a punch, <coughs> you know, is there just practice to, to coordinate to get to that point? So you're uh, you're uh, stopping stop him uh, from delivering the strike, to. yeah. Okay, but how do you detect that? If I'm standing like I'm going to punch uh, him uh, in the uh, face. Uh, you could tell. You could tell right away. He has no fear. He has no fear though. No. So he has the fear. He only has the fear not to injure someone. He's afraid to injure. Good point. So in the absence of fear then, he can move freely. Is, is there a correlation between the direction of the hand move this way and to where the punch is supposed to be? In other words, he goes this way and moves here because the punch goes that way. You understand? So it doesn't have to be related with the strikes. Okay. It's just that movement. It's okay. kind of distracting moves. It's distracting when the person's going to move. Допустим, как бы сказать что нужно человеку, понимаешь? Вот, э, допустим, где большое скопление людей, да, mm -hmm. и на тебя толпа идет, да? Ты как будешь? So if, okay, it depends what you need. If there's a crowd of people, you have to get through. Okay. Uh, you're not gonna hit them. 
so you would distract them that way. Yeah. <laughs> just, just move them away. Yeah. Part the Red Sea, right? <laughs> <laughs> to control, points to control. You can work really well because of that. Yeah. That's very good. Don't break it here. You've got to control this side, but you can control this side. Okay, because you can work here. Just get in there, right? As a professional therapist, I've, okay. I've noticed that the way Misha uses the pressure points are the very healing points. They're used in particular combination. However, the way he's using them are in a cycle where he can actually drain energy from one, put too much energy in the other, and whenever he's using them according to different areas of the body and the further away I notice that my body begins to get weaker and I'll go down if, if that's what his design is or backwards and he can raise raise you up according to the direction of his energy the way he's pushing it. and I can feel myself that the energy remains in the body for a little while. I can feel it in particular organs and uh, there's little electrical shocks as he manipulates each of those points. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you look good. Did you really ask for punches or are you just... Oh, you... <laughs> Did the strike leave your body now? Yeah, exhale in a more quick way, like more forceful exhale. <laughs> Nothing that you do that Michael doesn't anticipate. Um, the part about with the striking and the breathing, exhaling faster, it uh, definitely makes a difference when uh, you exhale fast like you suggest rather than just breathing normal and thinking about it so much. The punch, the effects of the punch do leave you much quicker that way. Um, and working with Michael in the exercise, it's, you can't describe it until you're there. Um, it makes you know how much further you <laughs> have to go uh, before you can even think about being any good at this. Um, but just feeling it is, you know, that, that two or three minutes 